Claro. Hello, my name is Barbara Zerstedt. I'm a concert pianist and music educator, and I'm president of the Flame Organization, a sister city with Lomonosov, Russia. I'd like to thank the Schiller Institute for inviting me to speak. I'm speaking for the 100th birthday celebration of the life of Lyndon LaRouche, and I'm both honored and humbled. Mr. LaRouche was truly a Renaissance man. His knowledge was vast and he researched and wrote about many topics ranging from science, economics, and politics to music, art, and literature. His influence on the world was immeasurable and is ongoing through the efforts of his wife, Helda Zepp LaRouche and the Schiller Institute. In his honor, I want to touch on the necessity of elevating the cultural level of the world's population through a classical knowledge of and appreciation for the fine arts. It's essential to lift humanity above mere sensuality to a higher awareness where human creativity is free to flourish. Linden did not separate hard science from artistic endeavors. In his view, the same creative powers that are tapped for scientific discovery are also responsible for the creation of great works of art and music. As Albert Einstein wrote, imagination is more important than knowledge. Learning to play an instrument helps organize the brain and encourages logical thinking. Musicians develop a keen mathematical awareness of space organized by time. It's been scientifically observed that performing music engages all parts of the brain, especially when playing the piano. There are hundreds of truths which unite all humanity. These are universal, beauty is one of them. And Linden was especially drawn to the music of Bach, Beethoven, Mozart and Brahms. The reason their music has endured over the centuries is that these composers created beauty, which combined an intellectual understanding of compositional skills with the emotions of the heart. Lyndon LaRouche and the Schiller Institute have spent years opening eyes to the beauty of science and the arts and encouraging new possibilities for the growth of civilization within our shared humanity. Thank you, Lyndon, and happy birthday. <laughs>